Hello everyone, Eddie B here, and um, let's get this YouTube video started. Yeah, nice, I got a nice cut. That's for sure from Barber Dan, you guys, rush us, check him out, a Spartan Brick now. Well, anyway, I'm in Rapid City, um, Rapid City, South Dakota, at this truck stop right here. Right here, truck stop. Um, huge truck stop. Video in my YouTube channel about it. Uh, yeah, we're supposed to pick up a helicopter on the step deck um, in Custer, South Dakota at a place where they uh, give people rides on the helicopter for pictures and stuff. So it's going to be pretty interesting. It's a crane appointment and it's a crane appointment at the delivery. Not sure if I'm going to be recording delivery yet or not. I do know that I'm going to be headed home and I will record me loading it. That's a plus. Um, yeah, it should be a fun. It's a, only a 4,000 pound helicopter, not a 40,000. So, and I assume the propeller blades are going to be on the top deck and crates. Well, the actual helicopter, I'm probably going to have to chain down. And guys, look at this, what I have here. Yes, I'm married to this chica right over here. Say hi. Hello. How do you like trucking so far? Pretty good. Pretty good. She's excited to pick up the helicopter, right? Yes. Okay, and she's gonna be the new member of film crew. That way, I can be less distracted while filming. Now I'm gonna go talk about the troubles with the tire that I had. Alrighty guys, now let's go talk about the tire troubles that I've been having. All right, first off, I need to close this door very well, the passenger. I don't like semi-truck doors all the time. Anyway, let's go do that. We have an empty step deck. Uh, I did, I did sort everything out mostly, like all the in there because it was all a mess from the last driver. But anyway, uh, this tire right here gave, gave me trouble. This tire right here gave me trouble. And why did this tire give me trouble? Well, let's just say this tire, um, what this tire did was I delivered in the ghetto area on one of my drops in uh, Denver and on the way to Cheyenne Wyoming from Denver apparently I ran over a nail the nail no longer exists it actually came out so I didn't really even find it um, when I got to one of the cat dealerships in Cheyenne Wyoming this was completely flat almost about to come out of the rim took uh, and guess what guys Sap Brothers said it'll be three hours TA said it 45 minutes I went to the small tire shop he said there's no wait pretty much. It was just a 15 minute wait because there was a car in front of me. What I did was I dropped this trailer across the street, bobtail to the place, and I uh, and he patched it. But it's still giving me trouble. It's not patched that good enough simply for the fact that uh, it is losing eight PSI every 24 hours. I pump it up to 100 and it goes down to 92. So it's not bad. I just gotta watch it and keep pumping it and make sure it's the right tire pressure until I get back to the yard and tell them about it. Now. It is time to go drive to that place for the forklift. I already did my paperwork since it's a glider truck. Got all my logbook straightened out. I mean, sorry, the pickup, but on the way, we had throttle response problems. Came to find out it wasn't wires, it's probably this fuel filter filled up with water because it was all the way to the top, losing, um, what do you call, making the truck lose power. So hopefully, once I get this thing changed, keep the camera rolling, I should be good to go. We will have everything going smooth again. Hopefully I don't need 
think it's this. It goes in like this. Go figure it out, yeah, Eddie. You want to prove which spot you want? Um. I kind of messed up a little because this is my first time changing a fuel filter. I know how to change one, but in concept, but not exactly where everything goes. The O ring was supposed to go right over here, so I changed that. Now I'm going to get a funnel actually and pour some of this um, diesel back in there. In this issue, if it's still going to be causing an issue, yeah, sorry, I messed that up again. But uh, the seal wasn't on properly on this one. I didn't guide it on so now I'm able to properly close it all right so I put this on moment of truth time to turn on the truck hey guys so this was a little bit embarrassing but it's okay uh, we're able to use jet fuel this time to, uh, because jet fuel is a higher version of diesel fuel we poured it in and now we fired her up and so far we'll have to see how she runs when it's on the road but so far it's good now let's go do the time lapse of see how I'm strapping things down All right, guys, sorry about the video cut off. I have a lot, a lot, a lot, I mean a lot of video editing to go. Uh, but uh, yeah, we finished uh, loading the helicopter. Time on to go ahead and deliver it and document the trip. And we fixed the fuel problem. Hopefully, there will be no more fuel problem. Here's this beauty yet. Really nice. There she is. All right, guys, you can see a beautiful view. We're now headed to our delivery area, or to the yard at least, and either I delivered or another driver delivers it, but whatever. I usually deliver it from the best. Um, also, if you look in the mirror, that's what the load looks like in the mirror. And yeah, now it's time to drive. And uh, so far, so far, the fuel, um, the fuel system is doing good. I'm not. I don't know, it's figured out, so hopefully no more of this is going to happen and we're good to go.
Alrighty guys, so we drove throughout the night, had some rest, and we made it to uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. Load is fine. I'm gonna check, make sure all the straps are tight and everything, but from a visual standpoint, it does look fine and secure. We're running into some trouble. Let me show you what's going on. All right, let's go first check and see if we got any problems with this tire. I always check the tire. Um, it's uh, fine for now. It's like this tire, so that's fine. Just gotta watch it. But um, here's the issue. I'm gonna make a YouTube video out of it. Uh, all right, it may look like I don't need to change it, but I want, when I woke up, you can see water droplets here. It was at the change level again because of bad fuel. So I went ahead and bought two more fuel filters just in case we need another one. And uh, I bought a fuel additive that I'm gonna throw in the tanks. And uh, time to change one. And this is perfect opportunity to, sh uh, to do a how-to video on YouTube. All right, guys, so here's the current situation. This is what I found in my um, fuel filter. So, change the fuel filter so the truck's operating better. But I'm, we definitely picked up some bad fuel. So, what I'm going to end up doing is actually putting this fuel prep. Hopefully, that'll take care of it. I got to run out of these tanks of uh, bad fuel and hopefully pick up some good fuel on the rest of this trip. All right, guys. So, here's um, what happened. Decided to check my load, redo a few straps in St. Louis. And. Um, Luckily, I'm glad I stopped because here's what happened. What happened was my blue line ripped off because it was too low against the drive shaft. So now, gloves didn't have what I needed, so I'm here at TA in Mount Vernon. And I bought myself this, a fitting, because a whole set of this cost $300, like $200. So I bought myself this and that. I'm going to install it and be good to go and legal. Alrighty guys, got it fixed. It should be good to go. Alrighty guys, so sorry the block had to end a little early. Um but yeah, finally no more issues that we got. I got the blue line fixed, made it safely to the yard, and now we are just uh, ending. The load is gonna be delivered. I'm gonna have to end it short there. And uh, basically, we are going to eat right now because we're hungry from our trip, even though it's exactly about 20 some hours after we finished the trip. But um, <laughs> anyway, Eddie B signing off with Rachel B. Not canceled. Hey guys, I'm Eddie B. 2046. Okay, this particular package. Driving a temp in the 6 Series.